Hi, I would like to show you how easy it is to use Mprog Thunderbench with the ST STM32 F3 Discovery Kit. Let me start by giving you a quick tour of the board itself. Here we have an onboard JTAG ST Link debug port, a user USB port, dual red and green LED showing USB communication, the STM32 F3, a Cortex M4 MCU with 256K flash. Two MEMS motion sensors, a 6-axis geomagnetic module, e-compass accelerator, and a 3-axis digital gyroscope. We will feature these sensors in our demo. The reset button. User push button. Finally, 8 colored rolling LEDs that we will also feature in our demo. With the board connected, I start Mprog Thunderbench. Once inside the control center, I click on Import BSPs. Choose ST Micro. Then select the STM32F3 Discovery Kit. For this demo, we will choose a Master Board Demo application, which demonstrates the 8 LEDs, and we will also use the gyroscope and accelerator MEMS sensors on board of the starter kit. As the application code is being created into the workspace, Thunderbench will prompt us which JTAG probe to use. I choose ST-Link and click on Setup Debugger. Thunderbench will then create and build the project automatically. It is important to note that these BSPs are copied to your workspace. There are two ways to launch the debugger and download the sample application. One way, you can double click on the ST-Link debugger launch shortcut or the other way is simply click on the debug button on the toolbar. At first run, Thunderbench will automatically ask to launch the proper ST-Link GDB server. I confirm yes. Here you have a chance to set or change the target device for the ST-Link GDB server if needed. This is something you only need to do once with the very first debug session. I can now click on debug. The server will then connect to your target board making it ready for debugging. The debugger will start and download the sample application into the STM32F3 discovery board. It will break at the first preset breakpoint which is the reset vector. Hit run again. The code will then break at the second preset breakpoint, which is the user main. Now let's execute and run the application on the target. I switch to the board and show you how the application is running. First, we notice the eight colored LEDs rolling. Pressing once on the blue button demonstrates the gyroscope and motion sensor. Pressing the same button again shows the MEM sensor acting like a compass and always pointing to the north. Press the button again and it takes me back to the rolling LEDs. Now that Thunderbench is fully connected and functional with the kit, I can start building my STM32 project. When done, I can click on terminate and exit. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.